I would like to call this meeting to order, and I want to welcome to the organizational meeting of the City Services Committee. I also would like to note that this meeting is being audio and video recorded. I'm City Councilor Mary Ann LaBarge, and I am, was the Vice Chair of City Services to my right. I have Councilor Karen Foster from Ward 2, and to my further right, I also have um, Councilor Michael Quinlan from Ward 1. And welcome. Laura, I'd like you to do a roll call, please. Sure. Councillor LaBarge. Councillor LaBarge? Yes. <laughs> Councillor Foster? Here. Councillor Quinlan? Here. And Councillor Mayori is not present. Since, uh, do we have any public comment? Because I'm opening it up to the public. Since there is no public comment, the first item on the agenda is the election of chair and vice chair. I will begin by opening the floor to nominate for chair. Uh, I'd like to nominate Marianne Labarge, Councilor from Ward 6, to be the chair. I'll second. Okay. Councilor Labarge is nominated. Are there any further nominations? If not, the nominations are closed. If there is no discussion, I'll ask for a roll call vote. Okay. Councillor LaBarge. Yes. Um, hey. Councillor LaBarge. <laughs> yes. Um, Councillor Quinlan. Yes. And I just want to say that I'm very honored to serve as chair and thank you both. Okay. Now the next item on the agenda is the election of vice chair. Do I hear a nomination for vice chair? I'd like to nominate Councillor Foster. We need someone to second. I'll second that. Great. All in favor? Okay. Um, so do I hear that nomination of a vice chair? There are no further nominations. I will close the nominations. Laura, will you please call the roll? Sure. Um, Councillor Foster. Yes. Councillor Quinlan. Yes. And Councillor LaBarge. Yes. The next item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. I apologize, but I did not see the minutes. But I also was not at the previous meeting, so. Um. Right. I, um, I looked at them online. Oh, yeah. It was online. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah. And I would make a motion to approve those minutes. They, they looked in order to me. Okay. I second that. All in favor? Aye. The next item on the agenda is 19.191, appointment to the Board of Registers. And Councillor Quinlan from Ward 1, you have, um, you were referred to doing an interview with Catherine Kay. Could you please talk about it? I did uh, call Catherine on Friday and she called me back. We uh, talked on the phone for just a few minutes, uh, but she's already a member of the Board of Registrars and an enthusiastic member of that. She, she loves the work, she loves giving to Northampton, uh, and she specifically commented on she likes being part of the team with Dan Polachek and with, uh, with Dan Powers. So uh, I would recommend to our committee here that we, we, we move this forward uh, with a positive recommendation because she seems like a great fit and someone that really enjoys that work. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, is there a second on that motion? Yeah. No. Second. Okay, yes. thanks. I just want to give you a little bit of background um, as the background part of it. The charter gives the mayor the power to appoint all city officers, department heads, and members of multi-member boards subject to review by the city council. The process the city council has established for reviewing appointments is to refer them to the city service committee. 
This referral is considered the equivalent of a request for a report. According to council rules, to report means to make a positive, negative, or neutral recommendation. So we're looking for a recommendation on this appointment, which you did today. Okay. So now, the next item on the agenda, um, 20 point at 20.013 appointments to various committees. This recommendation is for the appointment of David Murphy to the Board of Assessors and Melissa Fowler to the Planning Board. David Murphy's appointment is for a three-year term expiring in June of 2023 and Melissa Fowler's appointment is to fill the unexpired term of Mark Sullivan until June of 2021. So, who do we got next? Think you're next. Well, I think, um, it looks like David Murphy is. Yeah, David Murphy, thank you. Okay. okay. And you actually interviewed him. Do you have the, his? Do you have the, I have one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he already um, sent an email with his. I had a nice little talk with um, David Murphy on the phone. And David has served as a member of the Board of Assessors for seven years prior to joining the City Council. He is a Massachusetts accredited assessor and a Massachusetts licensed real estate appraiser. He has served as a member of the Massachusetts Board of Registration of Real Estate Appraisers and twice served as chairman. He has been actively appraising real estate in Northampton for 40 years. He would like to again serve on the Northampton Board of Assessors between his time as an assessor in his time on the City Council Finance Committee, he has had and combined 21 years of municipal finance experience. He would like to continue to put his experience to work for the City of Northampton. I make a positive recommend recommendation to full City Council. Okay. Uh, yeah, I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. All right, so, Kara. Okay, so let's see. We have um, planning board. We have Melissa Fowler at 87 Chesterfield Road Leeds, and her term is January 2020 to 2021 to fill the unexpired term of Mark Sullivan. And our counselor, Karen Foster from Ward 2, has done the interviewing. Yes, I had a, a chance to speak with Melissa Fowler this morning, um, and you made a great conversation. She has over 30 years of experience in construction management. Um, she has a, a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering as well as a master's degree in construction uh, management. Um, she is really invested in, with the planning board, making sure that different stakeholders um, all are heard and working to come to agreements that different stakeholders can, can live with both. Um, long-time residents of the city as well as people who have new ideas um, for change. Um, you know, she's um, really invested in Northampton. She grew up here. She moved away for a while but moved back to raise her son here. Um, and she said to me that she wouldn't consider serving, um, or that she would only consider this role in Northampton because she loves Northampton so much and really wants the opportunity to give back and to contribute and she would consider it an honor to serve on the planning board and I make a positive recommendation uh, for her appointment. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, new business. Ideas for possible department presentations. We'll have a discussion on this. Um, I have great concerns about what is happening right now with the coronavirus that's spreading and I thought the month of March would be an excellent month to have the director, Meredith O'Leary, from the Department of the Board of Health to come in and give us an update. There is right now um, a young man in Boston who is quarantined, and I heard today that he did come out positive. So I think we should know, and I think the public should know, of having an update of 
exactly what is happening here with this virus due to our families and our children and also what are the effects or, or how do you know that you have it and also what is the treatment. So I don't know how you feel about that but I think right now because it's such a serious situation going on. You know um, to add to that I saw in the online edition of the Gazette today mm -hmm. that there is a student from Smith College. It's unconfirmed. She may have been on the same flight as that young man oh, in Boston. Okay. She had, has just flown yeah. back. So. Or tell her what you saw today. Yeah. Well, I was just telling her I talked to like, two Asian students walking down the street with face masks, which you don't usually see people right. in this area. So mm -hmm. I thought that might be. Yeah, that was the direction yeah, I, that they yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just think it's a serious issue mm -hmm. right now. And I think the public being video on that, mm -hmm. that they're going to hear from our Board of Health and our director, mm -hmm. and she does great presentations. So, Laura, could you put that into the mayor's office, please, of getting sure. the clearance on it? And just seeing Meredith a little while ago and talking with her, she, she welcomes herself to come okay. here. I was, I was on that. And we would, uh, in that situation, uh, just so I've read the council rules and I just want to make sure that I understand, do we have to submit those questions beforehand? Yes. Uh, so we would, through Laura, create a, a list of questions maybe that we would boil down? They appreciate, well, in this case, it might be a specific enough request for her to talk about the coronavirus. Okay. Right, you know, that would be a, because that's quite a bit. Yeah, probably. Parameters, but, um, but it would sure be helpful if you did. Yeah. So if we have more specific questions beyond a, a general yes. update around yeah. the coronavirus. And we could ask her that while she's here. Great. You know, Great. Also, I think we give them, what, a half an hour to speak? I think we Depending if we have much. appointments. Right. Right. All right. Great. So think about for like the month of April, May, June, July, whatever. <laughs> um, something I would be... I guess it's not quite a presentation to discuss, but I'd be really interested in creating an inventory of our boards and commissions of demographics of who's serving on them. Um, and, and that's something I'd be glad to spearhead. Um, but, you know, sort of trying to figure out age, gender identity, um, you know, maybe racial identity, I think that's up for discussion, um, so that we get a picture of if our boards and committees Mm -hmm. what demographically they look like and if that's representative of our city as a whole and if there may be um, work we want to do to outreach around opportunities for people to serve on boards and committees. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea too. Now would that like be a formal information request to yes. the mayor's office? Because uh, and maybe, maybe it would require I some presentation uh, yeah. of human resources, uh, okay. something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think they probably, I don't think they have that information Probably now not. Compiled. And you mean like multi-member boards, not, you're not just talking about city council stuff. Right, exactly, multi-member, like city-wide um, right, boards. Right. I think that's so, the first time we've ever done that. Yeah, and I, as far as I know, they don't right. keep that information for right. themselves, but it's not a bad idea. I, yeah, no, I, so I, I guess that's great because that's a process question I have. Is that something where we put an information request to the mayor's office? Is it something where we contact? Mm -hmm. each individual board and commission. Um, right. You know, also, too, I think on the applications. Yeah, I've noticed oh, it's on the application. Out. Yeah, maybe so. There's information on it. Yeah. 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 Of their ages and mm -hmm. how long they lived in the city. Right. And the ages are there. Right. And also male or female or are they, yeah, whatever has, their origin yeah, is. Yeah, that's gender and racial ethnic background. Right. Right. Too, yeah. So, um, Right. The, the information is there. It's just not compiled in, it's, it's there for each individual, but not compiled in a sort of demographic look at who's serving, who's serving our city. The yeah. only process question I'm w yeah. wondering is if um, information requests have to come from the full city council, because I'm remembering the discussion from the last mm -hmm. session where I think, I want to say a single counselor or whether the committee made an information request and there might have been a clarification that the full council, but I know you make the departmental interview requests. 
So that's, maybe I could just, that's something I just have to look into. I think you should look into that. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I almost wonder if we couldn't make a motion right here to ask uh, the council on Thursday to have that as to the agenda tomorrow so that we can discuss it Thursday. Right, so. sure. Yeah, just information, city services, information request, or okay. Yeah. Okay. So we will check that out, your lower. And I guess I'd have to consult with Councilor Shara. Of course, you know. of yeah. course. Okay. So. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, and that's really something that we all have, have talked about. Great. Right. Yeah. Okay, we're going to set the meeting schedule for 2020 through 2021. And the only thing that I see, which I've talked with Laura about, is for September 7th, which is Labor Day. But I think what we've done before is wait for like a couple of months before September and make a decision if we want to do it on that following Monday or the Tuesday or whatever. Yeah, the, and the only other date that jumped out at me was July 5th and July 6th and 5th. Sometimes people are away those weeks. July uh, what? July 6th uh -huh. of this year and July 5th of next year. You know, sometimes people are away around the holiday. You know, I got that marked, and yeah. I have great concerns about that. Yeah, I mean, we probably can yeah. do the same thing and, and just wait till it gets a little closer. Yeah, and, I don't see why not. Uh, but, uh, yeah, because I suppose... people do go away. Yeah, I saw the Labor Day was highlighted here, and then, of course, the fifth and sixth aren't really anything specific, but they are around the holiday. Right. That's a good point. Thank yeah. you. Right, because July 6th is on a Monday. Fourth of July is on a Saturday. Mm. <laughs> we could always put it on the agenda for discussion as the month before. To see yeah. That, that sounds good. That, that yeah. sounds like a great idea. Yes. So we could approve this is what I think we would do, and then just discuss that later. Is that how that goes? That's what we usually do with the date approaches is put the regularly scheduled meetings down and then make changes. Okay, that takes care of that. Uh, we have to think, approve them? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I would make a motion to approve these dates. A second. Uh, great. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, so we've already talked about the possible department presentation. So we do have the month of, month of March, mm -hmm. okay, to look at for Meredith O'Leary to come in. Uh, so I there guess. are some things on here. I think on the council rules, I have great concerns that we need to look at a couple of other departments that I want added on here, which is central service and the Department of Public Works. Oh. Yeah, and, uh, and it's not actually, you know, it, it's, this is not actually in the rules now, this paragraph was actually deleted from the rules. It was in the rules in 2016. Yeah. So um, we would have to, it would have to be, and I think um, Councilor Shara is planning on doing a rules change okay. to do some housekeeping items. And okay. It could, like, be suggested at that time, or proposed at that time. Do you know when she's planning on doing that? I don't, but I'm meeting with her tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the Department of Public Works is a huge department, and we have the responsibilities of city departments. Also, we have central service, which is massive. Right. You know, so I really feel that we need to add these two city services in here. Mm -hmm. Whether they want to, the counselors want to put the list of departments back in yes. the rules yeah. that was just deleted during the last session. But it's always, always understood that it because was last year yes, all the city departments. Because yeah. last year we had social services in here. I remember that. We also had with Maureen, we had central service, and it's not out of here. Right. Mm -hmm. When I was telling her, um, you guys may remember, there used to be the Council on Public Works and Utilities, and that was only just eliminated at the last session, and Central Services and Public Works were listed as being under that oh, committee. Right, right. So I think had that committee not existed, they would have been under City Services. And so it does make sense that they'd be part of your purview, but, but yeah, if you guys desire to list the, uh, the departments at all. Thank you, Lauren. 
So uh, just to go back to, to Karen's idea, do, should we, do you think that we should make a motion here to, to ask uh, Councilor Sharp if we can put that on the agenda for that a would discussion? Be a yes. Is that how, how yeah. we would do that? I've talked yeah, so yeah. I maybe you should. Yes. Okay. You know, demographic breakdown of our boards and commissions, if you wanted to make that motion, I think that'd be great since it was your idea. Thank you, Councilor. I, I make a motion that we um, put on the City Council agenda um, the idea to make an information request for a demographic breakdown of our boards and commissions. Okay. Okay. Aye. 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 Got it. I'm just. Yes, it's <laughs> <laughs> I was wordy. Oh, no. <laughs> I talked with Laura about it, and she said that Councilor Gino Shero was seriously going to be doing this rule change and so forth. Yeah. So I didn't know we could send that to City Council now until she brings it forth. You could just add it to that order. Right. Just add it. The proposed rule changes. Yeah. So is that what we're basically going to be doing here? Is bringing our order in of these two? to be added on? Well, that's sort of another discussion. I was just going to ask Councillor Shara tomorrow. I'll tell her that that's something okay. you're interested in having proposed. I mean, I guess any councillor can always propose a rule change, too. You could introduce an order right. to propose mm -hmm. a rule change. So, you know, I think Councillor Shara intends to introduce one, but if, you know, for some reason she wasn't inclined she wasn't to propose she's that. She's introducing her change of rules. Yeah, I know she it, it usually is done at the beginning of the council session. We yeah. Put it together, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, just looking at the rules here, uh, it's, yeah, I mean, none of that is, is in there now, kind of listing what the purview of this committee is. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, more a more clear definition might be good. Mm -hmm. Especially when we've always done it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And that did exist as recently as January 2nd, yes. 2018, when they, the rules were adopted then. That paragraph was in, so. Yeah, great. Okay, so um, is there a motion to adjourn? I'll motion to adjourn. I'll second. I'll in favor. Aye. Okay. All that.